How to choose a validator in Decimal Chain Welcome to the Decimal Chain channel. In this video we will talk about choosing a validator. That is an important issue for any user of the Decimal ecosystem, since in order to get the maximum benefit from delegation it is necessary to consider all the factors that may affect it. To begin with, on the main page decimalchain.com we go to the Tools menu and select the Browser link. Here you can see the number of validators to date. And in the blockchain menu you find all the information about them by clicking on the validators link. In the header you see the statistics of occupied slots and candidates for the role of validator. Below is the data on all validators who are online. Let's get acquainted with the information published. The first column is the name and public address of the validator, and it can be copied in order to delegate your coins. The second column is the omissions of blocks that the validator made during its work. The third one indicates the amount of the fee, which is set by the validator when submitting the application. It cannot be changed. The validator will automatically deduct the specified fee from the remuneration of its delegators. Next, the column shows the total stake of the validator, taking into account the delegated funds of all delegators. The fifth column indicates the minimum number of coins to delegate, and the sixth one delegates the number of occupied slots. In total, 1000 slots are given to every validator. This means that only 1000 different wallets can delegate their coins to this validator. The 1001st user can replace another user if he puts more coins in delegation than the smallest stake out of the 1000 occupied slots. This will be minimum stake for delegation in the fifth column. And the last column shows the strength of the validator's vote and includes the cumulative stake, but it's rounded up so that it could be seen which validators have the opportunity to participate in the vote. And this information is available on a separate page – Voting. There may be 10 participants in the voting in total, and they are chosen by the greater strength of the vote. Below on the page you can see the received and total penalties of the validators. The penalty is the withdrawal of 1-5% to of the coins from the total stake of both the delegators and the validator and their instant burning. The basic remuneration is the same for all validators and depends only on the general parameters of the network. However, each validator offers his own conditions for delegators. Therefore, you should carefully analyze all the data, study the information about the validator slowly in order to make a decision about delegation.